I believe that a, a principal needs to be a learner themselves and have a love of learning and see themselves as a lifelong learner. Uh, the key at the moment is for uh, certainly a, a large degree of flexibility. Um, I think it's important that principals meet the needs of their schools and so the leadership style has to meet those needs. They need to be authentic and by authentic I mean know themselves, um, know their own strengths and limitations and um, and be able to uh, question their own behaviours and reflect on the way they are with other with other people, with their with the staff members. But um, yes, being authentic, um, I think, builds relational trust with members of, of the team. I think the staff would say that I'm present, that I'm working alongside them, that I'm committed. I'm committed to each staff member and each student. I would say that they would say I'm innovative and that I take risks and I encourage them to take risks. And finally, I would say that I have high expectations, that I don't like average. I would hope the staff would describe me as someone who puts forward a very clear vision of where we are, what we want to become and someone who's willing to always support and challenge staff, parents and students to enable them to contribute to making that vision a reality. I suppose when I first commenced my first principalship it was in the time of the BER and the agile open learning spaces and I suppose over the last seven years I would see my success in being able to implement those into our school communities, working not only with staff, uh, the children were the most resilient but I suppose my, my work was around staff and also with parents. I think commencing project-based learning here in all of our primary grades, um, two years into our journey, every student is motivated to learn. They're gaining knowledge and deeper learning skills. Uh, they're collaborating with other students, with their peers. They're building teamwork and they're learning to be critical thinkers. We're now graduating record numbers to university. In 2014, more than 85% of our students received university places, and that means that the girls who graduate from Sirvon College are able to move out as confident, articulate, young citizens with good values who are able to use their education to open up a whole range of possibilities that their parents couldn't imagine. And I believe that the whole school community should be very proud of that achievement.